Today we're going to look at three different programs, all very simple ways to uh, take screenshots on your computer from the command line. And the first one, which is the one that I would normally use, uh, is part of the Image Magic uh, package, which is installed by default on many systems. If not, it's almost always in the repositories. Um, but Image Magic has a application called Import. So if you type Import and the name of the file you want to save it as, we'll just call it uh, Test One, and we'll make it a JPEG. We hit that, and you see your cursor changes to little crosshairs here. And at this point, you can draw a square around something. And then we can hit, we can type Display and the name of that file to open up the file and you can see what I drew the square around and uh, so I took a little screenshot of that let me run that again we'll call it import uh, oh not display import test one I'll draw a larger square and then we will display it and there we go we got a larger screenshot there now normally uh, you can see the square you're drawing Right now I'm not seeing it. I'm assuming that's because I'm doing uh, screen capturing right now with the video and for some reason it's preventing that box from showing up. But normally when you draw a box with your cursor, you can see it. Now if you want to take a screenshot of your entire window with this, you can do this. You can say import and we'll do dash window root. So root, the root window means basically your entire screen. And at this point, we'll say test2.jpg. And what this will do is when we hit enter here, it took a full screenshot. We can say display, whoops, display test2.jpg. And oh, it's kind of big. Let's, let's do this. Let's go known open. Because, uh, Display will try to open it up full size, which would be the full size of my window, and I have two screens going. So we'll open up test two with GNOME open, which should open it up with another photo viewer. And there we go, we got a full screen shot here. A little bit of a black bar down here, I'm assuming that's because of my docky bar, is probably causing some issues there. But for the most part, it captured both my screens. And once again, that command is import window root and the name of file you want to save to. Now if you want to put a delay on this you can just use your sleep command. Sleep will say three seconds and then a semicolon to show there's a new command here. It will sleep for three seconds, two, one, and took a screenshot. Now we'll show you another application here which is called Scrot, I'm guessing is how you say it. And I don't use this one much but I thought I'd mention it. So let's run Scott, Scrot. First you have to install it, and that would just be simple sudo aptitude install Scrot. That's S-C-R-O-T. I already have it installed, but go ahead and install that. Use whatever package manager you would like. And at that point, all you have to do is say Scrot and the name of your uh, file, and we'll say test3.jpg. I also want to mention that uh, you can save to other formats too, especially with the uh, uh, import, which is part of Image Magic. Pretty much any simple image format you can save to. So we can do JPEG or PNG. Scrot I know can do JPEG and PNG. I haven't really looked into what other formats it could do. Uh, but with the import from Image Magic, you should be able to definitely do things like GIMP and BMP, um, TIFF. So keep that in mind but scrot the name of our file and so it took a screenshot there and it's uh, gonna be under test 3 so once again that's scrot test 3 or whatever you want to name your file dot jpeg will say display test 3 uh, once again it's huge so it kinda goes off the screen here let's uh, use gnome open test 3 to display it instead of display and there we go it took a full screenshot and it didn't have an issue with that black bar from the docky station 
Uh, so I don't know if that was a one-time glitch from the Im import or if Scrot just uh, captures in a different way. Um, but that's that's one thing you can do with Scrot. Another thing you can do, Scrot has some options as far as um, delays and also quality. And uh, I'm sure that with uh, the import from Image Magic, you can set different qualities off the top of my head. I don't know what those are, but let's look at Scrot. We can do dash Q for quality, and we'll set it to, I don't know, 75%. And then you can also put a delay on that. We'll say a delay of three seconds. And then once again, we can just put in, we'll say test four dot, and this time we'll do PNG just to be different. We do that. It waited three seconds, took the screenshot. Let's do gnome open test 4.png and there we go it took a full screenshot aft at a 75% quality so it should be a smaller file and it had a um, delay of three seconds now another thing you can do with Scrot is you can use the U switch so we can put a U right there you can also put these as different uh, commands but usually I think you can just write it like this we'll hit that and the U will tell it to take a screenshot of just the current window. So now, if we open up that file, you can see it's not a full screenshot. It's just a shot of the window that we are currently working in. So whatever window has focus. Um, so you can run that command with the delay and choose another window. In fact, let's do that. I'll open up a Nautilus window here. We'll run that command again. I'll choose the Nautilus window. It took the shot. Let's display it. And there you go. So that delay will allow you to choose another window and the U will choose to take a screenshot of just that window. Now one other feature this has, which is pretty cool, is uh, we can add a C in here as well. So we'll hit enter there and it actually gives you an on-screen countdown until it takes the picture. So it accomplishes the same thing, but it gives you a little on-screen countdown with the C for countdown. I'm going to show you one other application that allows you to take screenshots. And unlike the Image Magic or Scrot, which may not be installed by default, my understanding is um, this application uh, may not be as full-featured as them, but will be installed on any system that has X installed on. I haven't checked this out. That's just what I've been told. So even if you're running a minimalistic uh, Linux distribution, as long as you have X running, this application should be installed, and it's called XWD. XWD, we'll hit enter there. We're going to get a, a little cursor on the screen here. We can choose a selection of the window and oh, we get all this up on the screen. What is that? That's actually the raw data that we just captured being displayed out onto the screen. So how can we save this to a file? Well, it's very simple. Let's clear this out. We'll run the same command, xwd, but this time we'll pipe it into, we'll say test5 in an xwd file. So it took, takes that output once we draw a little box here. And now I can say display test 5 XWD and I'll look. It took a screenshot of um, actually the window I select, I clicked on, not the box I drew. That was my mistake. So that's great, except for the fact that it's saving to an XWD format, which uh, not, not every uh, image viewer can display. Display from Image Magic has. But if you have Image Magic, why not just use Import? So, although you can take screenshots this way, it's a little odd on how it saves. Because from my understanding, it is not a standard JPEG or Bitmap or PNG. It's an actual XWD is the actual format. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. That's just what I've read. So even though you can take screenshots on any machine with X, it's not in a format that's very commonly used. Now you can do something like XWD and we can pipe it into the convert command which is part of the image magic package and uh, we can say FD colon zero uh, which I'm not even really sure what that part of the command does. I really should have looked that up but it's uh, taking the information from the XWD and then we can save it as 
test6.jpg or png or whatever. So basically, we're using image magic to convert that file, the output from XWD into a JPEG. But at this point, if you have image magic installed, why not just use import? It's a little more full featured. But I thought I'd show you the option. If you're on a machine that doesn't have image magic and you just want to take a screenshot, you can use XWD, save it to an XWD file by just uh, sending it into, redirecting it into uh, a XWD file. And at least later on, you can convert it. So it's kind of a, I, I would call it a last resource. If you don't have any other options, XWD should be installed on pretty much any machine. Um, so that's it. Three options. You have import, which is part of the image magic package. Scrot, which I haven't used much, but seems like a pretty nice program. And last resort, for me anyway, XWD. Uh, and then click on the screen you want, and it ooh, gets you uh, all the raw output, which you can redirect into a file and do whatever you want with later on. So I thank you for watching. I hope you find these tools useful. They do have more features that I didn't get into. Um, so play around with them, search them a little bit, learn more about them, comment if you know of any uh, other neat tricks with them. And uh, I hope that you have a great day. And for more video tutorials on Linux, Bash, and other types of open source programming and media related uh, stuff, please visit my website filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K. Plenty of video tutorials there on a bunch of different categories, all in playlists, uh, conveniently put there for you. Uh, and I hope that you also uh, visit our forum at filmsbychris.com forward slash forum uh, and leave messages there, ask questions, share codes, upload files to share, and uh, just uh, keep enjoying my videos and thanks for watching.